the Mexican News Channel. Today we have a special guest. Joseph Thorne is my name. Yeah. I'm Esteban. So, Joseph, how does it feel to be the leader of one of the most powerful countries in the world? Beautiful, beautiful. I just want to say, Esteban, I am so glad to be on your show. It makes me very happy to just to see all of these smiling faces. Hello, camera people. Anyway, today I will tell you about why it is so good to be the ruler of Soviet Union. First of all, everybody's scared of you because you have nuclear bomb and nobody likes nuclear bomb. Some call it the Cold War. I call it Russian domination. Next question, please. <laughs> so there are millions of people in your own country that are being imprisoned or killed. Yes, that is a ridiculous fact. Ridiculous! I shot you now. Turn off the camera. Turn off the camera. So, Soviet Union. It's a great country. Thank you. I'm finally glad you come to your senses. So, how does it feel to be like have like an amazing army? An amazing army. You know, it feels good. And I think every single Soviet will agree that you feel safe, you have good army, and um, yes, the Union has anything to add to that. So how did you come to power? In 1917, the USSR was created after the Bolshevik Revolution. It was headed by the Bolshevik Party. And then in 1923, Joseph Stalin, which is me, came to power. Next question, please. So tell us about the Iron Curtain. Of course. But first, um, a message from our sponsors. Capri Sun. Respect the pouch. Anywho. The Iron Curtain was divided by NATO. Countries and, con countries, and countries are part of the Warsaw Pact. It lasted from 1945 to 1991. Iron Curtain was a name given by Winston Churchill. Next question, please. Why did you have Trotsky assassinated in 1940? Well, I had Trotsky assassinated in 1940 because Trotsky repeatedly tried to escape his exiles. So he needed to be killed. Next question, please. Why should we learn about the Soviet Union? Well, it helped us under it helped us learn about U.S. and Soviet relations during the 1900s. It lets us further understand the Cold War, space race, and tensions after World War II. Russian immigrants have added much to the culture development of America. Helps us understand communism, world politics, and other cultures, and shows us other more protective political parties. How did your leadership come to an end? Well, I'm very sad to say that I died March 5th, 1953, from cerebral hemorrhage. Leadership got turned over to Nikita Khrushchev. That is all I have to say today. That is the story of me in the U.S. I saw. Thank you. I don't think